Well, we're in the uh, bell tower, the lower room of St. Thomas's Church, and with me is Edwin Creer, who is in fact the uh, tower captain. Is, is that a real title, Edwin? <coughs> it's one that's been given to me, actually. Um, whether I deserve the accolade, I don't know. But uh, yes, I, I, I wind the clock here at St. Thomas's Church. And what is this mechanism next to you that we just saw you uh, working on a moment ago? Well, this, uh, um, there are eight bells, actually, in the tower, of course, Every time I pull one, you hear the noise, it, it, um, the bells are in situ and the clapper will hit the bell and as I say there are eight bells up there and of course you can play tunes on this and... Uh, Anyone who's familiar with the sound of music will recognise D, R, M, F. Uh, you're actually working on tonic sulphur in here, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. That's the way it's, it, it's written out here. It's basically there for novices that come upstairs and, and will ring the bells and if they have a bit of tutoring um, there's, there's bits of paper we have here or that have got, for instance, there, this is now the day is over, um, M, M, F, F, S, M. So they, it's marked, so they know where to pull. Um, if you want an example, I'll give you an example. Do, uh, perhaps right. you can even play that one. Well, I'll play that just if you want. I mean, you know, it's um, F, 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 M. Knight is drawing M, M, R, M, M, R, D. So it's fairly easy, really. Um, and of course, there are lots of hem tunes that can be utilised and used in that particular way. I, I see behind you there, Edwin, there's a, a trap door. Um, is that to get the bells up the tower? That's what the, the bells um, hoisted up there, that's right. And, and that mechanism in the corner is for the single bell? That's the single bell that can be, that, that, that be told on funeral occasions, in fact, by one person on the, on the ground area, uh, which is the D, actually, this is the tone. <laughs> Of course, it's pulled all the way along down there with the cord, and so it saves somebody climbing up, the, up, up to the tower. Well, let's go on up to the next floor and have a look at the clock. Now, it's a task for you. How often do you come up here in the week? I come up once, once a week. And um, it's 60, 60 revolutions of the, of the winding mechanism. Um, that's for the, the clock itself. And um, it's quite, quite a heavy weight, but not as heavy as the two weights on either side that um, do the chimes. On the left-hand side, of course, are the, are the chimes for quarter of an hour, half hour, three quarters of an hour, etc. And on the right, um, that particular mechanism there, that's for one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. Um, so to do the three weights takes quite a bit of time and it's extremely heavy work. Now in the centre is something you keep uh, putting your hand on at the front there, that bar. What actually is that for? Well, when you're winding that, of course, I mean, um, that has to be pulled up anyway to get, uh, you know, the, the mechanism winding system in place. But that is a, a weight and of course keeps the pendulum going yeah. in a regular momentum. One of the many regulators in, in the mechanism. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes. If it comes to the change in British summertime twice a year, how do you alter the hands? Well, what actually happens there, you can go forward because you can't go back. So when it's um, uh, forward, it's easy enough to do. There's a mechanism here and I can just 
move the cold clock face forward. I'll move it five minutes, so we say. I don't know if you can see it there, actually, but um, if, if I move that up there, it'll, the spindle goes around a lot quicker, and it can, so that goes down quite quickly. And there's five minutes gone. So that's the big gone, hands the have big, just gone big, The big hands have gone forward five minutes. Right. Um, but of course you can't go back. It, 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 you have to wait until it... Here we are. So it's actually gone down at child quarter two. Right, so quite a few people are going to be early for appointments right. this it, afternoon. It could, could well be. They'll be panicking. You think, what's, what's happened? <laughs> so how will you now get that back to the right time? Do you have to wait till the clock stops? Um, yes. Um, As you say... Although it's, it's, five, it, it, it's five minutes slow in a week. Right. Um, so in fact, it'll, 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 it'll be fine. It'll, be it'll catch itself up. up. Yeah. yeah. Now, one of the reasons we're up here, apart from the fact that I've never been before and it's very interesting, is you're about to have some changes up here. Uh, you've got a company coming in from Whitchurch in England. What actually are you doing? Well, it's going to have an automated winding system, which will um, um, cut out, of course, the manual winding of the clock itself. Um, as everyone, we're all getting older in this church, like, and, and of course it's, it's quite an exacting job to do. So it's ideal if we can have an automated system. And um, so that is what's going to happen in the future. So a tradition that's gone on for, well, hundred, well over a hundred well years, over 100 years yes. Yes. is going to stop very soon. Indeed, within a month or so, maybe. Mm. And will you miss that? A little bit. A little bit I will, because it's, it's all part of heritage and so forth there. Um, but it'll make my life a lot easier, put it that way. 